Wilderness is not something you expect to find, only an hour from the cultural heart of Europe. Yet near to Prague, you can find hidden trails as easily as you can find yourself alone in a forest. We're heading to Birdie, a wild landscape that promised to be covered in snow. You can easily drive there, stopping at any of the local villages. We chose Obnice and headed inwards through the fields. Birdie remains rugged and free from any tourist facilities. It only became accessible in 2016, and some parts are still closed. This is due to unexploded devices, although hidden bunkers and secret airports can still be explored by those curious about its long military past. Birdie was once a temporary home for occupiers, like the Nazis and the Red Army. Its restricted status did seem to have one upside, and that was the protection of local nature. Back to our trail, as long as we stayed within the designated areas, which I assume were marked by fencing, we were okay to go off trail. We found that the snow had insulated water in ditches, and I did manage to lightly twist my knee while jumping away from broken ice. We did, however, manage a successful river crossing. It's a little slippery. Winter is one of my favorite times to explore forests. There's often a surprising amount of light. Oh, wow. It's a little outside school. Something else tends to go hand in hand with wilderness, and that is predators. You've heard of mountain lions in the States, jaguars in the Amazon, and leopards across Africa and Asia. But have you heard about the wild lynx of Europe? About this time last year, I joined a training to track wolves and lynx, and one of the lynx habitats was right here in Birdie. The snow has special properties for tracking elusive beings like the lynx, as it preserves more obvious footprints. This makes it possible for even novices like me to help out. Birdie has been a permanent home for lynx. Even when there aren't lynx living here, often the kittens migrate up from Shimava in the south. They start exploring from the age of around one and a half, and there are about 80 lynx across the country from what I can find online. I highly recommend the training, as we had the chance to meet local zoologists, learn about lynx behavior, as well as how local farmers are adapting and protecting their animals. It was nice to see an example of how we could coexist, and there are many more across Europe, whether working with shepherd dogs in Italy or putting in electric fences. The challenge can often be both the mindset and the cost involved in making this transition. Apparently, the lynx are doing well. Even outside of the main protected areas, they find pockets of hidden wild places like Birdie. The woman leading the lynx patrols, Josefa Wolfova, said something worth remembering. The permanent presence of lynx in our landscape depends solely on the human attitude towards them, our will to share the common space. On the website linked in the description, where I found some of the camera trap footage of the lynx, you can also find other animals like wood marten and mouflon. Back to the journey, we trekked our way up Klobotek, first walking into a barrier and then finding our way through the young trees. noticed that the forests here look beautiful, but sometimes monotonous. Many native Czech forests were replaced by spruce woods, monocultures, 
Over half of the forests here are made up of Norwegian spruce, and these are being attacked by the bark beetle. It's thought that many low and mid-lying areas like Birdie will disappear in a decade or so. The future of this forest is in question. Despite having been preserved, it's a relatively young forest. Heat waves, droughts, and decreasing water levels across the country will likely influence its survival. Some have called the spruce bark beetles a final farewell letter to the landscapes that many have come to love across Bohemia. This is because of climate change. But there are answers. We can help birdie function as it should by diversifying the forests and restoring small wetlands and peatlands. All landscapes are also interconnected, whether through soil, air, or hydrology. Leaving land aside on nearby farmlands can also help slow desertification and stabilize the forests. <laughs>